Welcome back guys. So I don't actually have a song tutorial to do today, but I do have a technique tutorial. I want to kind of go over vamping today. Vamping in major chords, and vamping in minor chords. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Check it out. Alright guys, so when we're talking about vamping, when you see the word vamp, I'm going to do this in G. So when I do G, what vamping in a major key typically does is it plays the one chord or the chord that you're vamping. Then it plays the four chord over the one. So we got to find the four chord. So one, two, three, four. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, that's the C chord. So we're gonna play a C chord. So you, you could do this in all root position. And I'm, I'm basically bouncing between these two. Together, right, left, left, right, left, right. But, it would be much easier to use that common tone of G since C, E, G, there's a G in the C chord and there's a G in the B chord. So we can leave that G and we can play C like this. Now, let's go to the key of C. Now, if we vamp C, what is the four of C? It's an F, and F has a common tone of C. So we're gonna go. And something else we can do is so I was just doing full uh, solid chords, block chords. We can break that chord and rock it by doing the three and four, the upper two thirds, and rock it with the lower third. With the G also. That's D and G. C. Actually, I'm actually also alternating between the fifth of whatever chord I'm playing. So I'm playing G, then I'm playing that D, but I'm doing that while I'm also playing the four. So now I'm playing like a four over five. One, four over five, one. I'm going to like a G11. Now that's uh, vamping in a major chord. And that's another thing you can do. You can vamp up, you can vamp down. You can go up between that one and that four over one, whatever key, if you're in B flat. You can get really fast at it.
playing a certain pattern there, but you can... A simple pattern there and I'm just doing different keys as A flat vamp that was an A vamp D vamp anytime you see what I'm doing when I, I have my left hand I'm alternating between the one and the five and my right hand is uh, going between the one and the four of that one and so all you gotta do if you know your skills know the scales and number them one two three four five you know that the four you're going to alternate between that four and that one that is how you're going to do most of the time on major chords now let's go to minor chords c minor the minor chord normally vamps between it can vamp between the minor it can vamp between the four but it typically likes to vamp between the minor and the seven flat. So you're going to do that the seven flat of your scale. So the seven is a B. The seven flat is a B flat. So, so you're going to do a B flat major chord. down a little bit G, G, that F is the seven flat of the G minor. If I'm in the key of A flat minor, that seven flat is G flat to A flat minor. If I'm in an E flat minor, B flat minor, let's do E minor. matter D minor so you see a minor vamp you're gonna vamp between the seven flat if you see a major vamp but if you see a, it's a B flat vamp see a B flat minor vamp well thanks for watching guys now I hope you're not intimidated when you see that little word vamp on the side of a song and you're like now what do I do so this will kind of give you something to help with that if you haven't already like and subscribe to this channel and until next time God bless